Today's book is an answer to a special request that I got on Twitter. The tweet is from Andrew Pritchard, and here's what he said. Can you narrate your tornado book and make my childhood dream come true? And he checked out that thing relentlessly from my elementary school library. Here you go, Andrew. I've updated the book and added some things, including on climate change. But here's the book on tornadoes. And here's the page that I'm going to be reading from, which is the first page in the book. Twisters, whirlwinds, water spouts, cyclones, tornadoes go by different names. But whatever they're called, the roaring winds of a tornado can toss a truck high into the air, smash a building, and snap the trunk of a tree like a matchstick. Or tornadoes funnel. Sometimes looks like a huge elephant's trunk hanging down from a cloud. The funnel acts like a giant vacuum cleaner. Wherever the hose touches the ground, it sucks things up into the air. Tornadoes, from the Spanish word tronada, which means thunderstorm, have been reported in every state in the United States and in every season. However, they occur most often in the east and two-thirds of the country during the spring, which is called tornado season. Here's a tornado, a huge tornado, pictured from a distance because if you got very close to it, it would be terribly dangerous. A tornado is a powerfully twisting column of air that makes contact with the ground. It is visible when it contains water droplets in the form of a cloud or surface dust and debris, or some of both. When a tornado touches down, it usually leaves a cloud of dust and wreckage on the ground. If the twisting column of air is not very strong, it doesn't pull in debris and it's not visible. When the whirling air becomes strong enough to pull in dust and debris, it makes the twister visible as a tornado. All tornadoes are local storms. A typical tornado is 400 to 500 feet wide, yet it still extends tens of thousands of feet from the ground to the clouds and has winds of less than 112 miles per hour. It usually lasts only a few minutes and covers only a few miles on the ground. But a few monster tornadoes are a mile wide and can reach upward of 30,000 feet and have the strongest winds ever measured in nature, up to 300 miles per hour. They can last more than an hour or two and travel more than 200 miles along the ground, leaving enormous damage in their wake. From Tornadoes.